Hey guys, it's Riley, and today I wanted to talk to you about something a little bit more serious because it's something that I've been through a couple times and that I want to be able to help you guys with, and that is going through a bad breakup and getting over an ex. Now, I just recently went through a breakup, and it was fairly mutual between me and this individual, but that doesn't mean I haven't been through a bad one. I have been through so many bad breakups and so many, like, unhealthy, abusive, manipulative relationships, and I tend to gravitate towards people who do not treat me well, and I don't know why that is. I think a key factor in, like, recognizing if you're in a toxic relationship is, does this person treat you the way you treat them? And it's an honest question that you need to ask yourself, because in that aspect of my relationships, they did not. Getting over them is a really, really, really difficult thing to do because I remember it took me months, months to get over both of them and it was miserable and it was hell actually. I It was one of those, I'm crying on the couch listening to a sad Spotify playlist, eating a pint of Ben and Jerry's, like it was not an a good experience for anyone. Because if you're like me at all, you become kind of dependent on the person. I'm a very needy person in relationships, so like I need constant attention and affection. Like I need to be talked to as frequently as possible and I can't go days without talking. I can hardly go hours without talking. That's just how I am. And that may or may not be a good thing. I don't know. That's just the way I'm built and that's the way I need things. Getting over someone is very difficult, especially when they sort of did that for you. Like, both of them sort of did that for me. Like, they were talking to me constantly type stuff, and then we'd go a while without talking, and I'd get really, really, like, depressed and sad, and then we'd talk again, and everything would be great. And I think getting over someone like that is realizing that you're getting over the fact that you're not going to have that attention until you find another significant other. That's a really, really hard thing to think about because I need attention, I need people around me, and when I broke up with, when my ro most recent ex broke up with me, I was left with no one. And it was really, really, really difficult. And it. <sighs> sucks. It honestly sucks. And I think the main thing that I have to tell you to get over them is time. Just give yourself time. Let yourself heal. Do fun things. Go out with friends. If you don't have friends, make friends. Find people online who are into the same stuff as you. Skype with them. Do fun things. That's what I had to do, and I. that's how I met my best friend Sam. I met him on Tumblr, and he's great, and he's going to be in one of these videos soon, and I'm really excited about that. And I just think that Time heals most wounds, especially when it comes to this. And if you need help to get over, like, list the things in your head. If you are sad about being away from them when they break up with you or it's a mutual breakup and you're still, like, really upset and distraught about it, list all the things that they were doing wrong. Don't don't say it to them. Don't be rude about it. Just list them in your head and be like, oh, yeah, they were doing this, 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 and this that I didn't like. That, Or they were doing this, 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 and this, and they weren't respecting me. And when you think about that, you're like, oh, I deserved better. And I think that's a very important thing to realize is that you deserve better. If this person was bad to you, if this person made you feel less of a person, if this person belittled you, you deserve better than that. You deserve someone who's going to care about you and love you and respect you and tell you things that you need and want to hear and it's very important to have that in a relationship they also need to be very honest with you so if this person was not honest with you get the heck away I mean you do not want to be with somebody who's not honest with you and yes I realize that I'm only 16 but I've had two serious relationships one of them was eight months long the other one was about 14 months and it's difficult when you're in a relationship with someone for that long and both of them end over text. You are better than some of these people. You are better than the people that treat you like crap. And time will help you heal. Don't sit and listen to all these sad romantic playlists on Spotify. Don't do that. Do not dwell. Do not go look at the old photos. If you don't want to delete them, that's fine. I still haven't deleted mine of me and my exes. But it's because it reminds me of a good time that I had. 
but I didn't look at them after the breakup. I was not about to do that because I know it's bad for me to dwell on the past and realize that they are not there for me anymore. It's just going to make you more upset. So if you have to, hand your phone to somebody else and say, change my wallpaper if the wallpaper is with you and your ex. Because that's what I had to do. And I said, I don't care what you change it to, just change it so I can go back and change it later. And try to make yourself think and know the truth, which is that you're better without them. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I've been thinking about doing it for a really long time. Um, like, comment, subscribe, do all that you do, and I will catch you later.